everybody this is rich boots and jeans riders <clears throat> heading home after a nice ride through some back roads I uh, wasn't gonna put the recorder on I just pull over in this park and I'm gonna go out and record so you can actually see this road that I'm about to head on it's actually a road that I never been on well no I've been on it before but I don't have that much experience on it. But I know I do possess the skills <laughs> to ride this road. And you would ask, okay, where do you get the skills from? Parking lot practice, people. Parking lot practice. Now, experience <clears throat> does not necessarily mean skills. So let's talk about that for a minute. Experience versus skills. Now we know a lot of riders that have a lot of experience. And I'm gonna tell you what my definition of what experience is when it comes to motorcycle riding. Hope we make this quick because this road got a lot of twisties on it and I wanna concentrate. But my definition of experience is just somebody who's had time on a bike or been riding for a long time. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have skills. Now I'm not saying experienced riders don't have no skills. But we got to stop confusing an experienced rider for a skillful rider. For instance, let me tell you this story right quick. Last year, we were out riding with a group. And once we stopped at a lunch spot, we were talking about riding to Alaska. And someone in a group, someone in the, at our table said, hey, talk to so-and-so. He's ridden to Alaska and he ridden his gold wing to Alaska. I was like, cool. So I meet this guy who's a very, very experienced rider. Been riding, well, I've been riding while you was in high school type person. And at the time we was having a conversation, he was approaching a million miles of riding. So after we finished the, the Alaska conversation, we started talking about riding in general and what most motorcyclists like. And we started talking about twisty roads. We started talking about Highway 1, the Pacific Coast Highway. If you hadn't written that and you happen to be in California, put that on your list to ride, the Pacific Coast Highway, Highway 1. And he says he don't like Highway 1 as much. I really didn't even ask why. I was just kind of confused, like who don't like Highway 1? And beautiful views, nice twisties, it's a motorcycle's paradise. And then we started talking about specific roads in the Bay Area. And one of the best roads in the Bay Area has a lot of twisties, but not a lot of view. Not, not a lot of good views, and it's Mines Roads. We're gonna do a Mines Road video this year so you can see what I'm talking about. Now this one have a lot of, well I'm gonna say twisted, a lot of good curves on this road. But I don't have experience on this road, but I do have the skills to ride it. Or you should ride it your own Ride your own ride. Everybody know the term, ride your own ride. Anyway, this guy having this, this conversation with him and I said, hey, I'm putting a parking lot practice on and would you like to come? He said, sure. Now, someone had told him about the patterns that I put up in the parking lot. And I wasn't too worried about him. He, after all, he got all this experience. So we had the parking lot practice. He didn't show up. I just thought, you know, he didn't show up because he had something to do, which was fine. You know, you got something to do, you take care of your business. Man, it's a beautiful day. Look at this, people. And we normally don't get this in California because it don't rain that often, but it's raining and everything is green and the back road looks fantastic. Anyway, back to my subject. <laughs> so I talked to him and asked him, hey, we having another parking lot practice on this day? And he said, well, I'm not going to show up. And I was wondering why. And his answer was, to me was, hey, I seen the pattern that you do in your parking lot practice. This is his exact words. I don't have the skill. No, he didn't say skill. Like he said, I don't have what it takes to do those, those things. Or something along those lines. I know he didn't use the word skills. And I was kind of surprised. You know, we're talking about an experienced rider who's been riding before I was in high school. And this guy ride across the country a lot. I mean, far more than Cake and I but he had probably have a million miles now on his bike but he rightfully so admitted that he can't negotiate the stuff 
that we do at the parking lot. So I said, well, that's why we there, to, to improve our skills. And he just said, I'm good. I'm good, young blood, I'm good. And would lead me to this conversation. I mean, I should have been had it, but I don't know. Why is it when somebody tell us that, hey, we've been riding for 15, 20 years, we all automatically think that that person is a skillful rider. No, that person is an experienced rider. And depending on the type of riding he does, or that person does, could be he or she, then they may not be a skillful rider. Like Cake and I, we have a lot of experience long distance riding now. We love long riding long distance. We can give some examples of what to do. In fact, we're actually going to make a video on long distance riding. Ooh, I hope you guys can see this road because the sun is right in my face. It's kind of in the morning time right now, but this is nice. Anyway, and we have a, a road, or actually a combination of roads from our garage. We ride a round trip. I think it's three three different roads we ride. Round trip from the moment we leave our garage to the minute we get back it is called, I mean, it is 27 miles. So we call it 27. So we have a lot of experience on that road and a lot of skills because of our parking lot practices and taking higher level courses and specialty courses that I've taken before. So I have a lot of experience and my skills. And I know we ride that, those three streets or roads better than anyone we know. Of course I'm bragging, but that doesn't mean that I ride it better than anyone. I just ride it better than anyone that we know because we ride it on a regular and we know every twist and turn. There's a couple of turns that say 35 miles an hour and Cake and I can hit those turns at 60 miles an hour because they're not even close to being as sharp as the signs say they are. And someone who don't know that, who don't have experience on that road would not know that. But you still can ride that road skillfully. You don't need to have time. Like I said, for me, experience is equal time, seat time, and, and for some cases, mileage also. But we just keep confusing experience with skills. Now you can have experience in a lot of things and the skill level a lot of them. I'm not saying you, you can't, but just be careful, very careful. If you're putting the rides on, like we put a lot of rides on, invite a lot of people, and we love twisty rides. I mean, we ride in California. <laughs> in fact, the guy I was talking to who had all a million miles on his bike, well, over time he never ridden a dragon and now obviously I know why anyway you got to be careful who you invite on these rides you no know, that's why I like to invite people that I know and I know their riding level and if I know their riding level not up to the place I want to go then I won't invite them I just do a different ride for them so but let, let me clear this up let me let me make it abundantly clear what I'm getting at Okay, let's say I run a, a company. I have this company, I'm the head person in the company, and I want to move this company forward, so I create a new position, and it's a promotional position, come with the money and everything, and I'm trying to figure out who I'm going to promote on this ride, I mean, in this company. <laughs> and there's a, a guy that's been working for me for 15 years, and he's the most experience and a company he knows everybody he knows how smoothly my company runs and how smoothly I like it to run and there's a new guy that got hired about a year ago and he fresh out of school got all the technical skills and, and everything that he possessed is the direction I want my company to go but he's only been there a year now let me ask you who would you promote who would you promote the new guy that can move my company forward fast now or the guy who's been loyal that I may have to send to school to possess the skills that the new guy has. Now, is it fair that this guy has been here this long, don't get promoted? Man, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Or, hey, it's just business. I'm sorry. I would hate to lose the veteran if he get upset and leave. But if he don't possess those skills, I'm looking at the new guy. 
and I'm seriously considering promoting a new guy. And this is what I mean about experience versus skills. Say, hey man, Joe got all this experience. Why did you promote Joe? Well, Joe did not want to go to school and learn the most up-to-date technological stuff that can actually move our company forward. This guy just come out of school and he's eager for promotion. He's eager to lead this company. Joe wants to lead the company also, and I know I'm gonna lose a little uh, that experience that Joe had, because he might get upset and, and quit and take his experience elsewhere. But if he want to get promoted elsewhere, he will have to go to school. And unfortunately, if I want him to stay with my company, I would have to send him to school, which is money, when I already have somebody for that position. And that person that I have for that position, obviously he can, over the years, he can gain the experience and move the company forward at the same time and hopefully run the company smooth, smoothly as Joe would have ran it. But Joe would have been running the company smooth and my company would have been stagnant. So obviously I promoted the new guy. And now my company is flourishing. Joe is still here. You know, he's a little upset. And I told him, hey, we're going to do some more promotion, but you need to go on and go back to school. In order for him to go back to school and pay for it on his own, I need to give him a raise or my company will pay for it. Now, this is all fictitious. I don't own a company. This didn't happen. I just wanted to illustrate a point of experience versus skill. Now, we all have experience in something, but let's get out there and, and take some more courses, practice those courses, gain those skills, and become a more proficient rider. And trust me, you will be having so much more fun knowing that you possess the skills to ride where you want to ride. Now, I still believe in riding your own ride. So I'm not telling a person that if they don't go to parking lot practice or they don't take more courses or specialty classes that they're not going to become a, a skillful riders. Just ride it slow, slowly, and your skill can actually come without parking lot practice. It's just that it will come hot and heavy fast with parking lot practice. Like if you haven't seen a video where I was in the parking lot and a guy who had just got his license a month ago was in the parking lot three days a week possessing those skills. Depending on his, his progress, I would invite him on some of the rides that I do, like this one. Long as he still understand the ride your own ride, he understand what it means. But he's gonna go in that parking lot three days a week and start getting those skills up. Now I know in the parking lot, you're not gonna ride as fast as you ride on the street. But all the concepts are the same. And if you definitely want to ride street, do some track days. Go we'll take some classes where they teach you how to really manipulate your motorcycle and ride it. There's a lot of things that you can do to get your skill level at a higher skill level. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if so, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you hadn't already subscribed to the channel, you know, that's Boots and Jeans, Ryder, Rich and Kate. And as always, we're going to put a lot of our travel videos up because we're taking a big trip coming up this year <laughs> we're gonna keep you informed anyway that's all i have for right now make sure you write the comments below below what you think about your skills and experience and who would you hire if you was in the same situation as the scenario i gave rich from boosting g's rider signing off remember ride long ride hard ride strong and most importantly ride safe peace Thank you.